Donald Rumsfeld, who was in charge at that time at the Defense Department. He came forward during a congressional inquiry, and he said that $2.3 trillion had vanished from the Defense Department budget over a period of a few years. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld declared war, not on foreign terrorists. The adversary is closer to home. It's the Pentagon bureaucracy. He said money wasted by the military poses a serious threat. In fact, it could be said that it's a matter of life and death. Rumsfeld promised change, but the next day, the world changed. And in the rush to fund the war on terrorism, the war on waste seems to have been forgotten. My 03 budget calls for more than $48 billion in new defense spending. More money for the Pentagon when its own auditors admit the military cannot account for 25% of what it already spends. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. $2.3 trillion with a T. Now, the amount we're talking about now, by the way, $2.3 trillion is the equivalent to writing a check to every man, woman, and child in the United States of America for about $5,000. That's how much $2.3 trillion is. And he, Donald Rumsfeld, very calmly sat before the Congress and said that that money was missing. They didn't quite know where it was coming out of defense budgets. Well, the senators and the congressmen, of course, were set back on that. You know, I mean, like I say, they're used to stealing a few million here and there. But if you start talking that kind of money, that's pretty serious. So what happened, coincidentally, and it is not coincidental, but what they claim to be a coincidence, that was about one day or two days before the 9-11 terrorist activity in New York and in the Pentagon. So when 9-11 took place, a day or so after, Donald Rumsfeld admitted that they had lost $2 trillion. Obviously, we never heard the story again. It just disappeared into the smoke of the Twin Towers building in New York City. So the announcement was rather well-timed because it just vanished. So following that, some folks had brought, of course, to my attention the fact that Mr. Ron Paul in the Washington, D.C., had come forward and had asked the Federal Reserve System if he could get an audit on the gold because the gold out of Fort Knox has been rumored to be gone. It is gone. There is no gold in Fort Knox any longer. And when Ron Paul came forward on the floor of the Congress, the Senate, he asked for an audit of the gold to make sure that it was all still there, and they told him to simply go away. You get nothing! You lose! 